Hello, my precious. I have Sarnieslet to repel any negative low vibrating energies from my viewers as well as myself. Oh, and it smells so good. If you guys have never smelled star anise, please find you some and just sniff it. <laughs> it smells so good. Even when it's burning, just opening up the container, just the smell of it. just oh, It just does something to my soul. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyways, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. This message is going to be for you. For this weekend, okay? So we are about to tap in, tap, tap, tap in, and see what the fuck y'all got going on this weekend. All right, what does my mutable signs need to know for this weekend? I filled the jar up. I have my other ones inside of my candle holder, but I still made more. So that's how the jar got back full. <laughs> I was going to empty it and then add the other ones back in there. So that I'm not like giving the same messages. But I've just been getting other downloads. So instead of putting them on cards, I just put them in here. So one just went up my sleeve. So somebody got a trick up their sleeve. Let's see what this trick is. It's up somebody's sleeve here. Wow, I shit you not. That shit literally just went up my sleeve. So someone's husband is cheating here. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. Do you see how that just clicked? Okay, so someone's husband could be cheating this weekend. Oh my God. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but hey, you need to know. <laughs> okay, so what else? Fuck. Oh. Okay, so let's take these. I'm going to get some of these tiny ones at the bottom. Damn. Okay, so somebody's husband is cheating. I don't know if this is your sign or if this is your husband's sign. So take that. However, you guys have intelligent children or an intelligent child here. Oh, look at that. I choose love and light regardless what's up against me. I will survive. All right, then we have degree. So someone could be going to school to get a degree. Or maybe your child is. Someone with a gray car. You guys can have the gray car. The person that this husband is cheating with could have the gray car. The child could have a gray car. Get your ass on. Get off my stuff. Popcorn. So yeah, this this is some. Um, so someone could have ate popcorn. Or, like, um, pull out your popcorn for this reading is what I just, I'm getting, honestly, with somebody's husband cheating. Okay, so. Right. White car. So, we have a gray car and a white car here. I don't know if this is your spouse's car or if this is your child's, yours, you know, whatever next week so something about a white car and next week so someone could be going to get their hair done next week or hell even this weekend Shit. Somebody's op is passing away. 
someone's enemy is getting ready to pass. And this could be next week. Or someone could be passing away this weekend. Take it however. Shit, this read. That's why I said get your popcorn out, goddammit. Okay, I see, spirit. I heard you. <sighs> Shit. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And if you have, thank you so, so, so very much. I love you guys all. We are officially at 184, 185, something like that. Um, disobedient children. So you may have a child that's not listening to you. Paying tax money. Why the fuck did I just think about this before I started this reading? We are paying money to pedophiles. This is a sad truth, but this is really the reality here. We are literally like all the ones that are in position to actually rule the world are literally fucking pedophiles. Literally, Walt Disney, how many fucking kids, and I told, I shot my kids dream down, I know it's like every kid's dream to go to Disney World, but I literally had to tell them, like, you will never see Disney World, as long as you're a kid, like, maybe once you get older, then that's cool, but as a kid, you will fucking not, it is hundreds and thousands of kids that has went missing just within that fucking place. Not only that, but like the founder is a part of the Pizzagate shit too. So it's like, it's, it's so many fucking people. The presidents with their rituals to stay young or to stay alive. Um, sacrificing kids, using kids' bloods, getting their, their dopamine rush and, you know, stealing their blood or their energy. Okay. Something about a mechanic shop. So someone's car could be going into the shop or someone works and someone's husband could work at a mechanic shop. Or like I said, you could just be taking your car to a mechanic shop. Sex demon female. So we got the incubus succubus spirit here. Possibly cheating at this mechanic shop. But I feel like, okay, so if someone's husband works at a mechanic shop, they are dealing with a female that is a sex demon. Okay, so maybe if you have a gray or a white car, then your car may need to be in the shop. Take it however, I'm just giving you what I see. Okay, and I'm going to pull a couple more, and then I'm going to be done. Seriously, with this. Okay, that was way more than I was expecting. But this one was right beside subscribe to my page. And then it has boobs perkier. So, the with the pedophile here, too, it's like they... They're, they're going for younger girls versus going for full-grown women because these younger girls are, like, fully developed here. Or they're cheating with someone who has, you know, perkier boobs than their wife or something like that. 2000 through 2005. So someone may have been born between 2000, 2005 or something happened in 2000 or 2005 here. Then we got 2015 through 2020. So... <clears throat>
cut up a lemon and add salt like cut it into fours so long ways short ways enough to open it up and then sprinkle the salt in there um, you can read a Bible verse while you're doing it if you're into the Bible you can say a mantra and this is what's going to kill off the ops because someone is sending you like some negative energy and that's a way to clear it up but it's going to result in death so I'm just go ahead and tell you that now you finally escaped the matrix soul food Sunday so you guys could be eating soul food or something could be happening on Sunday I said what's going on this weekend so yeah something could be happening on Sunday here so take that how you will all right, Spirit, what other messages does my mutable signs need to know for this weekend? Oh, I said somebody was doing spells. That's for this sex demon here. So get that motherfucker out of the way. Okay, mutable signs. Thankful for those that see me and accept me, the ones that are assigned to feed my spirit and enrich my path. Thankful for those who water me as I water myself in return. So expressing gratitude is very important right now. And that's also a part of escaping the matrix. Look, can I hit it in the morning? So somebody may be just sneaking off. Yep, because look, uncovered crimes. Follow what calls your heart. So yeah, someone is definitely like sneaking out. This doesn't this could be like the ass time in the morning, like two, three, four o'clock in the morning, some shit like that. Um so let's see. Mutable signs here. May I please have clarity on the mutable signs for this weekend, please? Balance how you respond and react. So, yeah, like I said, don't, don't like, spaz out on these people. Just cut up a lemon. Pour salt on that shit. That's going to clear up any evil energy. Yeah. Check yourself. This is like a reality check for these people, for this situation. Someone here is really irresponsible. Yeah, I said somebody's car is going to be in the fucking shop. I said that. So, okay, so literally somebody's car is going to be stuck in a fucking shop. Shit could be happening to this husband because he was attached to the sex demon. So something could be happening if he is, wow, then look, I just seen before you wreck yourself. So someone could either be getting into a wreck or there's like some issues with their car. And I feel like this is going to happen because they are sneaking off doing some shit. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen, like they're going to be sneaking off and they're going to get into an accident or like their car is going to break down or something. But it's clearly somebody's car is going to be in the car shop this weekend. Once that happened, then you're going to know for sure that this person was being irresponsible and this happened because they needed a reality check. But you continue to choose love, even if you're brokenhearted, betrayed, abused. It's better to love and to lose than to never love at all. Just imagine living your life and never experiencing what real love is. Never getting love from your parents. Never having love from a mate. It's 
Like, I can just imagine that being a really fucked up feeling. But this is literally the reality to some people. They really do not understand what love is. They've never experienced love. They've never been shown love. They've never, you know, seen it. Like, really seen it. Never actually felt what it was like to be loved. And that's causing an imbalance in someone's life here. And they're needing this reality check. Like they're literally needing to sit the fuck down and go back to the drawing board. And like, okay, why am I so irresponsible? Why am I doing this? Okay, so what else for the mutable signs this weekend, please? Pallades. So yeah, teaching others about love. This person could be tall and light skinned. This is someone that's vibrating on a higher dimension here. So you guys could be seeing 222. Look, an unsolved mystery or crime uncovering crime so like uncovering what your spouse is doing or whatever crime that has been committed so if you didn't know then you about to goddamn find out <laughs> and again i'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news but you gotta know look awareness is here somebody gotta tell you you got to know. All right, spirit. What else for my mutable signs? What else does the mutable signs need to know for this weekend, please? What else does the mutable signs need to know? Having healthy boundaries is a form of self-love and self-respect. So even if you've never experienced love or, you know, whoever don't know what love is and all of that, you learn how to, you learn what love is yourself just because you want to experience that. And that first starts off by loving yourself, having respect for yourself, having boundaries with others. You could be implying these boundaries once you realize what's Yep, because look, I'm ready to walk away. So I feel like you guys could be like setting the boundaries and walking away from, from this person that is cheating. <clears throat> yeah, because look, don't trust them. Don't trust him. Don't trust her. That was another card that was just sticking out. So it's like you don't trust this person and you're ready to walk away from them. Or they don't trust you and they're ready to walk away from you. However it goes. You know, narcs are real. So someone could be breaking up. Yeah, because look. Saying how you feel will never ruin a true connection. A real connection. So speaking your truth about someone cheating and how it makes you feel. That should never ruin a real connection. Because if you out here doing shit. You're, look, you changing up your personalities. You're using resources, possibly using your money to fund another female. <clears throat> you know, it's, it's all a fucking joke. It's like a slap in your face. We have Coyote here. Look, stand up regardless if they accept it or if they reject it. So speaking your truth. But again, be careful how you respond and react to this. But don't let your fucking guard down. Speak your truth. Look, then it has Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. These holes for everybody. So if you guys are dealing with the Aries, Cancer, Libra, or Capricorn, or that's who the, the side chick is that this masculine is dealing with, look, I, I just fucking said that. And then look, Sneaky Link. 
this somebody that they text and because that just fell right beside my phone so they're actually talking to this person over the phone or you could be finding this out through their phone that they have a side piece wow sneakiness and pet bruh i cannot fucking make this up why the fuck is pedophile here twice Selling kids for money. Shut the fuck up. So somebody here is a fucking pedophile. Y'all, please be careful who you talking to online. I release the past and live in the present, trusting that all my needs are met. My emotions are valid and my intuition is on point. As I find safety and protection within myself, the world will embrace me with open arms. It's everything that I have been saying is literally on this fucking card. What the fuck is going on? So they could be fucking with a girl that's like way younger than them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. follow what calls your heart so it's like you already know what your person is doing look all right all right all right aries and libra obsessed with person or trying to have control over a person you are needing to release this person so if y'all are dealing with the aries and libra and that just came up in this cardinal here and that's on the same fucking side. So if y'all are dealing with a Aries or a Libra, let that shit go. Okay? Yeah, this ain't no good at all. Oh my God, this pedophile energy just fell out again. Oh my God. So, I don't know if this person is an actual pedophile or if they're just dealing with somebody younger. I'm not sure if they're, they're fucking with a child. Oh, my God. Whatever it is, these fuckers are about to get whatever is coming for them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm. I'm kind of feeling the need to um, go ahead and end this video because this is a bit deep here. But I also... Sorry, I'm trying to get my shit together. I also want to know about this motherfucking... Lord, have mercy. Look, worried about children. So if you've been thinking something about your child around this person or some... I don't fucking know, but uh-uh. Watch the babies. Please protect the babies. Okay, Aries and Libra. May I please have clarity on Aries and Libra? Or, you know, the uncovering the crime could be pertaining to this pedophile energy that I was just talking about. But there's still somebody that's cheating. So somebody, something with some, some pedophile energy could be coming out. But then there's also something with this Aries or Libra that's a sneaky link. That this mask, somebody husband is sleeping around with. Okay, so may I have clarity on Aries and Libra, please? And we have Green Ladybug, Prosperity, Abundance, and Well-Being. So, they are either one, giving money to this person that they are sleeping with. Or if you have a child that is an Aries or a Libra, focus very well on their well-being. Super focus on their well-being. Shit. This shit just got... Look, Spirit said, get your popcorn out because shit was about to get real. And here we fucking go. <sighs> All right, what is going on with this Aries and Libra here? Mm, child, this is a lot. 
love to read, write, and learn. Why the fuck do I feel like this is a child, bro? I, I really reassured, bruh. Shut the fuck up. Maybe this isn't like a child. Maybe this is just like a child compared to you guys. Oh my god, I don't know. Look, the people you lose during your healing process is meant for the unhealed version of you. So, yeah, some you you got to let this person go. Whoever this Aries Libra is, whew, you need to let that nigga go. And be more specific about your intentions and about your feelings whenever you talking to this fucker. Look, I told you let that shit go. That shit dead as a motherfucker. Guard dog of the dead. So this person could be passing. If they was on some sick shit, some listen. Mm. All right, Aries, Libra, please. Aries and Libra for this weekend. Take it easy on your mental. So, yeah, whatever the issue is 